Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise, and I wanted to bring you my roundup of what has come out of the Consumer Electronics Show 2012 so far. Now, full credit must go to Engadget. You can check their website out at engadget.com. They've been posting up some of the best CES coverage, in my opinion, and I've been going through their website and just picking out my favourite bits. I'm not going to go fully into the stories because I think that would be unfair to them, so please do head on over to their website to read the full articles. I've also been posting my picks of my favourite products that have come out of CES over on geekanoids.co.uk. Check out the new section there and you can see what is interesting me. So let's kick things off. The first thing, Simple TV, which is a DVR type device, which allows you to actually time shift and play shift your recordings, meaning that you can watch them from somewhere else. If you're maybe in a hotel in another part of the world, you can actually watch what you have recorded. I think this is a lesson to be learnt by Apple with their Apple TV. They really are missing an opportunity by not developing and putting more uh, research and money into their Apple TV platform. I think they could do a device like this very easily and make it work very well indeed. Moving on, and I'm not going to cover every single story that Engadget's posted, just my picks. And the next one is Microsoft. I've recently got a Kinect sensor myself, and it was great to hear that they have actually sold 18 million Kinect sensors. I think we can say that is a success on Microsoft's part, and I'm loving my Kinect. Absolutely superb. And there's some more news from Microsoft coming up in this video. Moving on down, Samsung's Wi-Fi enabled cameras. Well, Samsung aren't the only one to be doing this. It seems like a lot of manufacturers, including Toshiba and Canon, are actually launching new models, very similar to the previous models, but with Wi-Fi built in. And the Wi-Fi enables you to stream wirelessly to a DLNA enabled device. Samsung are not alone in this, and it looks like they've released a couple of models here that have got Wi-Fi built in. Uh, the least expensive is coming in at under $200, which is the ST200F. 16 megapixels, 10 times optical zoom, and HD video at 720p. If you pay a little bit more, you can get the Q20, which will record at 1080i. Moving on down, Corning Gorilla Glass 2. A stronger version of Corning Gorilla Glass. Hopefully, this will uh, put at bay people's concerns about dropping their mobile phones. I still do think, though, if you drop a mobile phone, it's always going to land in the most awkward angle. Let's just hope that this helps people's mobile phones and mobile devices in general survive a little bit better. Moving on down, there's another one here I wanted to cover with you which is, da, 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 where was it? Here we go, e-readers. Now there's a lot of uh, movement in the tablet space really lately and Mirasol, never heard of them personally, 5.7 inch e-reader. You're gonna see a lot of these different devices coming out from different manufacturers to try and get the cost down. And I think this is one of the ones that maybe will do a little bit better. Very compact device and really just keep an eye on this one. I think this could be one of the budget tablet winners for 2012. Now the next thing, ah, uh, just this, this thing here, Nabaz Tag, I saw this when it first came out, it came out a few years ago, and they seem to have forgotten about it and then thought, hey, hold on, we can make some more money out of this product. So they've re-released a new Nabaz Tag and this is one of these sort of rabbit type things and it just does different reactions when you get Facebook and Twitter posts and messages and well enough said not too keen on that not sure whether that's going to be a success now something that I really did like I'm gonna to have to go onto the second page for it and that is just here Asus or Asus as people call it Transformer Prime now I've got one of these winging its way to the Geek Noise studio hopefully in the next few weeks. Ice cream sandwich. Woohoo! That is really good news. Ice cream sandwich coming to the Transformer Prime. I'm hoping 
that it will be in the launch models for the UK. It's um, started already rolling out the update to uh, current owners of this device. It looks absolutely gorgeous and I'm really looking forward to testing this quad core tablet with its docking keyboard as well. iHealth 2012, this is really interesting. Wireless blood pressure monitor, smart glucometer, wireless body fat scale, uh, connected via 30 pin dock connector on iOS devices. Great, I hope they get FDA approval for this one, I'm sure they will. And this will really make uh, people's lives a lot easier if they have to, for example, check their blood sugar levels or blood pressure regularly. Moving on, and just down here, here we go, this is Toshiba. Now Toshiba announced uh, their Camellio Air 10 Wi-Fi camcorder, which allows for live streaming and easy uploads to Ustream, YouTube, Facebook, Picasa and Twitvid, 16 megapixel stills, 1080p video, $150. I'm really hoping that the quality on the video capture of this device is good and I will be trying to get one of these into review for sure. And then moving on very swiftly, this is quite funny, Victorinox. Now they do the um, the pen knives with all the little tools in it, a uh, little one terabyte it looks like there, USB 2 eSATA one terabyte it says on the screen there. It's a one terabyte drive on a key ring. What? That is gonna cost a pretty penny, $3,000. I think they will sell one or two of those. Now moving on, this was something I got an email about earlier today. Just happens to be on the Engadget website as well. Belkin Wemo Home Control Switch and Motion Sensor. This looks awesome. This allows you to control various devices that are powered by electricity in your home, including lighting systems, etc. You can set up a Wemo Motion Sensor so it turns a light on and off as you walk in and out of a room. Also controllable via your iOS devices I think. So this looks really great and definitely one I will be covering on the Geek Noise channel. Moving on, here is the one of the Canon releases, Canon L520HS. It's got a different name in the UK which escapes me. But there are a lot of new Canon devices and um, I've covered these on the Geek Noise website. I will head on over to the Canon website before I finish this video off. Uh, but they've got some really good models coming out. And then this one here, this is really interesting. This is a big, big story. Microsoft Connect coming to Windows PCs February 1st. You can pre-order now $249.99 in dollars. Probably gonna be around about the 220 pound mark. And it allows you to use Microsoft's Connect with Windows PCs. This is gonna make the Connect sensor really fly and people are gonna develop some fantastic apps for it. Moving on, Dell, Ultrabook, loads of Ultrabooks coming out of CES 2012. Uh, Dell, we're not going to be left by the wayside on this one, and they're announcing their Ultrabook today. So I will be hopefully bringing you an update on that in a future video or article on the Geek and Ides website. Now, I'm not going to go through any more, they, they were the highlights for me. I'm going to actually head on over to Canon's website now and show you a couple of the products that were actually um, uh, released by Canon or launched by Canon the other day. We've got some HD camcorders which I'll cover in a moment, but they did compact cameras. And the highlight for me, if we're just going to the power shot range, February 2012, we'll see this camera. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely amazing. This is the Canon PowerShot G1X. <laughs> A uh, 14.3 megapixel CMOS sensor, camera from and the sensor is almost the same the size as an APS-C size sensor that you find in their digital this SLRs. Digic 5 processor, com compact 4 times zoom, so it doesn't protrude from the front of the body very much. Control, Intelligent IS, really high resolution 3 inch screen, full HD 1920 by 1080p video capture at 24p, HDMI, high speed burst, wow, this thing looks Perfect absolutely amazing and definitely one the I will be covering G1X, on the Geek Noise channel. Achievable Moving the on, one of the letdowns for me was Canon's new camcorder range. Now you can see top of the range here, brand new one, 
Legria HF S30 and this takes over from the HF G10 which was their flagship model before uh, but what really disappointed me was further down the range the M52, M56 and M506 which are uh, new models replacing the M41, 46 and 406 what they seem to have done is they've got the same HD CMOS Pro sensor they have um, changed the memory configurations a little bit added Wi-Fi connectivity but taken away one of the SDHC or SDXC memory card slots in the process not sure what they were trying to do there obviously they think it was a good move I um, think they might have also changed the process in these not sure but from what I can see the previous models if you don't really need the Wi-Fi connectivity are probably worth sticking with or buying if you can pick them up cheap so that's it for this video I will be bringing you some more CES 2012 thoughts over the coming days thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video